taking a quick look at these new power stations from Champion Power. And, uh, you know, you're probably familiar with this brand. You know, they've been making generators for, for quite a while now, right? They got a pretty good reputation with these things. So they're jumping into the, the power station market, right? And what's really interesting ab about this, too, is um, there's not a whole lot of, like, American companies making these things, right? Like, um, like Goal Zero is kind of like the, uh, the only other company that I'm aware of that's, you know, making these, like, full-blown power stations. So with this unit and all of the Goal Zero units, you know, so it's basically designed and engineered here in the U.S., um, you know, it's still made in China. And by the way, um, you know, Jackery is not really an American company. I mean, you know, they kind of try to, to make it seem like they are. I think they just have like a small office in California, but it, it's really, you know, Jackery has kind of owned the parent company is, that, is based in China. So yeah, they just launched these two power stations. They got a 1600 watt hour. This is the one we're going to be mostly looking at today, just because the, the specs on these things are pretty similar, except for the battery capacity. And this one, as you can see with the price, you know, it's very cheap, you know, as far as like, like, um, you know, how much it costs per watt hour. It's very cheap. But, um, you know, as I mentioned, the, the specs on this thing, as far as the inverter, the charging and stuff like that, they're identical between the two units. But what's really nice about these units is they do offer or, or they're going to be offering a, uh, a parallel kit. So basically you can hook two units up together and you also get like a 30 amp outlet as well. Right. And this whole system, as you can see, is kind of like designed to stack. So it just allows you to integrate all this stuff into, you know, kind of one clean setup, right? Um, although I wouldn't recommend kind of just doing it out in the open like this. As you can see, like, like you know, if you're going to have something like that tall and that thing falls over or something, you know, that, that could be a big problem. So, but yeah, you know, definitely up, having it up against the wall or something would kind of be a cool setup. So as I said, the parallel kit and the expandable batteries, they're not available yet. They're coming soon, whenever that is. But if, if you want, you know, if you can't wait and you want to get that parallel kit going, um, you, can, you can definitely get, they have basically this Paralink. As you see here, they call, that's what they call their kind of parallel system. Um, <laughs> this is one that's available for their gas generators. And I did check um, their website and it is available. It does work for this unit as well, for these units. It's just not going to give you that kind of, you know, clean, stackable design, right? You're going to have to have it set up something like this. And then remember all the specs that we're going to cover here, they're, they're identical between the two sized units. And so for the charging, we got all, all the ports are actually on the back side, you know, which is not my favorite thing, but they are located up high, which is nice. And um, so there's basically the AC is about uh, 400 watts or so. And then the solar is also about 400 watts. Now we'll talk about the solar more, a little bit more in depth here in a second. It actually kind of looks like the power brick is integrated into the unit. So, um, yeah, kind of an interesting design there. But, but still, a lot of people don't want to, you know, have to carry that extra power brick. So there you go. And you can combine these, um, you know, if you want to, like, kind of max out the wall and max out solar at the same time. We do get a nice 20 amp uh, power pole output. This is output. This is not input. So um, that's kind of nice to see because, you know, if you, if you got some higher low 12 volt stuff, you know, 10 amps, you know, the standard car socket is only going to provide 10 amps, right? So um, nice to see that you have a 20 amp option there as well. And then we get um, the standard USB-A, a couple of USB-C, and there's one that's 60 watt. So that's the highest. There's no 100 watt. Um, but still, that's, you know, decent specs. And then we get, you know, three AC outlets. And these are all uh, 120 volts. So I like to see that. And then this is the actual uh, Paralink. That's where you would, you know, connect that 30 amp um, parallel adapter up to. And then just as they know, you know, this is a floating neutral design, but they do provide you with a little uh, ground screw there as well, right? And this is kind of interesting, you know, obviously Champion being a generator company, you know, they've kind of, they've kind of designed this thing like to make it a little bit more familiar to people who are used to using generators, right? And specifically their generators. So yeah, kind of interesting that they, um, they added stuff like this to the power station because, you know, a lot of these other companies, you know, basically Jackery, Blue, Blue Eddy, most of the companies, right? They try to make these things as like user friendly as possible. I, I guess I would say with just simple little buttons, you know, they don't want to make it look too intimidating. So, um, you know, this could be kind of like a pro or con, this design. And now while we're talking about kind of the, the user interface on this thing and just kind of like the, the usability of it, one thing I got to mention, I got to note, something that I noticed in um, Up North Mike's review, and I would definitely recommend checking out his video review of this thing because, you know, he covers it in depth and he's got all the testing equipment, all that stuff that I don't do, right? So I definitely checked it out. But one thing I noticed in his video is this is the only button. This is the only power button right there in the, in the center. 
So, um, you know, again, it's like if you're not familiar with these, and, well, actually, you know what, even if you are familiar with these power stations, you kind of have to read the manual on this thing. Um, you actually have to, you know, you press that button to turn it on, obviously, but then you actually have to press this button a second time in order to turn the, the AC section on. So, um, and, and look, there's no, you know, it doesn't say that. There's no description here. You know, it doesn't say say that anywhere on the unit that you have to do that. So that's, again, you know, this is where like, you know, Jackery, Blue Eddy, EcoFlow, it just, they just make things super easy. So, um, yeah, they could have at least had some instructions or another button there, right? And then just to touch on the screen, we do get a nice, this is actually an LCD screen. So this isn't like a fixed screen like a lot of power stations have. Like this, you know, this screen is capable of displaying anything, but you know, basically anything they program into it. And it's actually quite nice when you power this thing on, you do get like a nice welcome screen with the champion logo. So I, I definitely like to see that. I think the design of this could have been a little bit better though, considering they don't really have any constraints with the graphic design, you know. All right, let's just talk about the design here real quick. I think this is actually a very successful design by champion. As I mentioned, they kind of they kind of like manage to toe the line, right? It's not quite as user friendly as a lot of power stations, but coming from a, a generator company, I think this thing this thing looks you know this thing would look appropriate sitting next to some of their generators, right? And I think it just has a nice industrial design. It's not necessarily um, you know rugged, but it, it looks durable, right? And these covers that they use over the output ports, this is just a really good idea. Right. I mean, so many of these companies, what do they do? They put like these these little uh, rubber or silicone covers and they'll actually have a cover for each outlet. Right. I mean, this is this can kind of just be annoying. Right. If you're using multiple outlets, you got to keep lifting these covers out of the way. This is just real nice because these things pop, they pop and then they lift. So and then obviously you still have some protection when it's up, you know, when it's when you're using the ports and it's this thing's flipped up. Right. And these lenses do have like a slightly smoked tint to them which is just kind of a nice design detail, right? I kind of like that you can peer in there, but it does just kind of clean up the look a little bit when, the, when these are closed, right? Because you don't see everything quite as well. And now all the silver that you see here, I believe, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is actually aluminum. And the reason why we like to see aluminum, this is kind of the same thing that Goal Zero does. Um, the reason you want to see aluminum on these things is because aluminum has like very good heat transferring properties. So basically, you know, as the inside of this unit heats up, this aluminum will, will actually like try to transfer this, uh, the heat to the surrounding environment, right? So it just basically means you're, you're less dependent on the cooling fans, right? And this is just going to keep the, the unit cooler in general. And this is especially important in units like this, like these units here that use NMC batteries because the heat basically affects uh, NMC batteries more than like LFP batteries, right? It's kind of like, it's basically the thing that leads to NMC batteries having less life cycles. They're just, they're more affected by the heat as I mentioned in a lot of my videos. Um, so you can definitely extend like the lifetime of NMC batteries just by trying to keep them cool and, and avoid overheating them, right? Now, as far as the, the form factor and the handles, we, uh, we almost get a flat top, right? We almost get it, but they do have, you know, the handles do stick up a little bit. Now, there is a very good reason for this, so I'm actually going to give them a passing grade on this. Because as I showed before, you know, these units are designed to stack. So they're probably thinking, let's have this stick up a little bit. And then, you know, we'll have the unit that's going to sit up on top of it. It's, you know, basically it's designed to interlock, right? Now, I think there it could have still been possible to design this with a completely flat top and then just maybe just relied on the, the legs to kind of, you know, drop down into the unit. And then lastly, the light on the front, you know, as you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, but at least it is a large light, right? Basically, you know, you're going to be blinded by this light, yes, but basically the bigger it is, you know, the less intense it's going to be. All right, now lastly, let's talk about the solar. So the solar specs are okay. They're, they're, they're not horrible, right? It's 10 to 28 volts, so we like to see a lot higher voltage. They'll just allow you to run stuff in series. So you're kind of you're going to be limited to running stuff in parallel and they do provide this kind of unique parallel adapter cord and when i first saw this i was actually quite excited about this because i thought look at this <laughs> look at this you got three mc4 connectors going right to this um anderson power pole connector right so i thought this is just a really good design like this is something this is like what anchor should have done um <laughs> if you don't know anchor provided this parallel adapter that comes with the anchor 767 and as Will mentioned on his channel, the way they have this set up, it's like 
basically if you plug a couple of um, solar panels into this thing the other exposed pins can have like live voltage on it right so if you touch that that could be an issue that could be a shock hazard right so um yeah he, he's already talked about like they, they need to change that so when i saw this i i, I thought you know this is this is kind of the design you want to have, but it actually turns out they're kind of doing the same thing, unfortunately. Although, as you see here, they've only got three instead of five. So I guess there'd be, you know, slightly less risk. So yeah, just something to be aware of. If you got some power coming through this thing, don't touch any of those exposed pins. And in fact, I would just recommend leave all three of these XT60 connectors plugged in. Like, don't separate these two cables. Just leave them plugged in and maybe even wrap it up with electrical tape. And oh yeah, so this is 28 volts. And this is up to 20 amps is what they say. You know, so if you do the math, well, most solar panels, you know, you're going to be running around 20 volts. Unless you can get your hands on some solar panels that have kind of an unusually high voltage. So just doing the math, you know, basically you're going to be around 400 watts. So for 1600 watt hours, you know, that's not, um, it's not a horrible spec. But as I mentioned, this is the same specs you would get with the 3000 watt hour, the 3200 watt hour version. So that's definitely too low for, for a unit that size. But again, that's, that's why you're going to get that value, right? So yeah, that's the new Champion Power Stations. Pretty, um, you know, pretty decent units for, for a company that hasn't made power stations before. This is like, this is actually a, a pretty decent offering. And what I really love about these parallel kit systems is that, you know, basically you can have smaller units, right? Smaller units that are lighter, more portable, and then still get big power out of them, right? So this, the smaller unit here is, is about 40 pounds. And then the larger unit, you know, which is, you know, this is a lot of capacity, right? This thing is actually just a little over 60 pounds, you know, definitely lighter than some of the, the, the other options on the market. So yeah, pretty decent looking units from, from an American company. So hopefully you just found this whole thing helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.